Dream Motel, two miles. I should be able to make it for dark. So much for beating the light. So sorry, I was on the other side of the motel when you came in. I didn't hear you. Up to my elbows in renovations around here. We're trying to rewire the whole place. You don't need to listen to my problems. I'm Jesse and I run the place. Looks like you could do us some help here. <laughs> yes, I suppose we could. Speaking of help, how can we help you? Uh, I'd like a room, please. Oh, well, you're in luck. A couple of nights ago, this place was packed out. You couldn't have got a room if you wanted to, but from the way it looks like tonight, it'll just be you and I. Hmm. Oh, would you mind, uh, could you cash this voucher for me? Huh, from the Williams State Penitentiary. Yeah. Absolutely. Many of their ex-guests end up being some of our guests. They stop by here on their way to wherever it is they've got to go to start a brand new life. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm on my way to see my daughter. I can't believe she's going to be 25 next month. Yeah, I missed so much. Yeah, I, I just got out. <laughs> well, you're going to need a hot shower and a good night's rest then. That sounds good. Room 147. Best room in a motel, if I do say so myself. If you'll take a right at the end of the corner and go all the way to the end of the hall, you'll find it. Uh, hey, listen, you got any place to eat around here? I'm sorry, the chef's off for the rest of the night, and I'm all that's left. But I do make a mean sandwich. Yeah, that'd be great. But could I get it a little lighter? Absolutely. How does chicken salad sound? <laughs> chicken salad? Yeah, it's my favorite. Fine then. You give me a call, I'll bring it right down. Jimmy, it's been a while. 
I hope this letter finds you well. I still can't believe it's been almost 15 years since we last spoke. I know you probably think that I abandoned you, and you'd be right. After the last job, I got scared and took off for Mexico, where I met and married a lovely woman named Maria. Again, I am sorry, my brother, that I ran away when I should have stayed. So as my final apology to you, I want to tell you that I have a standing reservation for you at the Dream Motel over in the Hope Springs area. It's a nice place, and I'm sure you'll like it. And I also left you something to remember me by. Somewhere in the middle of the motel. Where? Man, this place is spooky at night. Not by the pool. That's too obvious. Too much chance someone would find it. Come on, think, think, think. Where could he have hidden it where it wouldn't be found all these years? Uh, I've got it. A central place in the motel, but an area with little or no foot traffic. A basement. I wonder if this place has one. It's just as well they're sorting out the lighting in this place. There's the kitchen, lobby, bingo, stairs to the basement.
Eat your heart out, MacGyver. Man, that's a lot of dough. Hey, yeah, it's Jimmy in room 147. Hey, listen, can I get that sandwich now? Awesome, thanks. Fifteen years in the pen, there's still nothing on TV. After our last job together, and after what happened to you, I made the hard decision to change my life. I didn't want to live a life of crime anymore, so I didn't touch any of the earnings from our last job. I left it all for you. I pray that after you find what I left you, that you'll do the right thing. I know you've paid a heavy price for that score and may even feel entitled to it once you're a free man. But if you keep any of it, you'll never truly be free. Uh, my sandwich. Look, I don't know what's going on, but quit fooling around, would you? Jim, let me back in. Not again. Leave me alone, would you? Oh, it's you. Your sandwich is promised. Thanks. All part of the service here at the motel. Uh, hey, listen, did you have any other guests check in, like, after me? No, you're the only one. Why? Yeah, you know, someone keeps not... You know what, it doesn't matter. Thanks for this. What, you're, uh... You're welcome. Man, I gotta do something about these lights.
Misty? So good of you to join me. Can I get you a drink? No, I don't drink anymore. Oh, go on. Just one little drink? Little nightcap, perhaps? What? Who are you? I'm you, buddy boy. I'm Jimmy. Only the better Jimmy. How's this happening? Am I dreaming? Good guess. But no, you're not dreaming. Uh, and as to the how, well, this is the Dream Motel, and here all things can happen. No, no, wait, that's not it. I got it. Anything is possible. Or something like that. Catch my drift? Come on, take a seat. Let's talk. It's okay, I won't bite. <coughs> sure I can't get you a drink? Being in the joint for 15 years, I'm sure you're just a tad bit thirsty. Your favorite beverage? I should know, right? I don't drink that stuff anymore. You don't drink that stuff anymore. Come on. Every man deserves a good drink after a hard day's work. <laughs> wow. That's some good stuff right there. You sure I can't tempt you? So, how's it going, Jimmy, old boy? Ready to get back to some action, I bet, eh? Been watching you all night, guiding you. Already I've seen the greed in your heart. Saw it in your eyes when you found that bag down in the basement. Like I said, Jimmy, there's no point in fighting me. You're me, I'm you. Only, uh, I'm the best part of you. The best part of me? Yeah, the best part of you. What am I speaking, Klingon or something? Look, you came here to look for the money. I helped you find it. Helped me find it? The noises, falling blueprints, all my handiwork. You see, I wanted you to find the money so that you, so that we would have a great life from this point on. So what are we gonna do with all that cash? I don't know. Let me tell you what we're going to do with all the money. We're going to take it and never look back. It's ours, buddy, free and clear. Like your Jacko said in his letter. How did you know that? I never shared that letter with anyone. <laughs> ah, Jimmy, have you forgotten already? Man, I am dumb. I am you! Ooh, I love this letter. Especially the bit at the end, where he says he went straight, tells you to do the same. To do the right thing with the cash. Well, we're going to do the right thing with the cash, aren't we? We're going to take it, buy some nice things, right? No. Uh, speak up, buddy. Can't hear you. I said no! Okay, let's say I believe you. This isn't all some weird dream. Let's say you're real. I want you to understand one thing. 
I'm a changed man. I'm not going back to what I used to do. No matter what you say, you can't fight me. We've been roommates for, I don't know how long. All your life! <laughs> nah, you might be able to change your socks. Maybe your hair. But a life change? That's a commitment I know you just can't pull off. After all, all that money? I know you can't walk away from that kind of freedom. Yeah, I admit, I'm tempted by the money. Who wouldn't be? But I don't want to live that life anymore. I don't want to have to spend the rest of my life looking over my shoulder. You sound just like our dearly departed friend Jackson. God rest his soul. Where is he now? Ashes to ashes and all that. At least he found freedom. Freedom? After he left you to take the rap, that little piggy went wee 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 all the way to Mexico. Truth is, probably ended up working some menial job. Probably cleaning toilets for some rich guys. You want that, Jimmy? Nah. We want someone cleaning our toilets. Am I right? I don't know why all this is happening. Maybe I'm being punked or something. Maybe the chicken in my sandwich was bad. I, I don't know. But I do know this. I am done with crime. Okay, I made a promise to my daughter. And I tend to keep my word to her. And myself. You'd give up a million bucks to have a relationship with your long-lost daughter? She didn't even visit you once while you were in prison. You haven't seen that waste of space for 15 years. What chance do you think you have of having a relationship with her now? I need to try. And what about little old me? Where do I fit into all this? Okay, shoot. Where do you fit into all this? You just don't get it, do you, Jimmy? You need me. I'm as much a part of you as the nose on your face. Without me, you're no one going nowhere fast. <laughs> yeah. Because my so-called life with you was so great. How have the last 15 years been for us? Got a bottom line for you, Jimmy. You need me. There's no two ways about it. You think you can survive out there on your own? Who do you think kept you alive the past 15 years? Me! That's who. And who's always been there for you? Jackson? Nah, as soon as the doo-doo hit the fan, he was off to Mexico, left you to rot in jail. We've got a real chance now. A million chances, in fact. There you go, Jimmy. All you need for a happy life. Not so easy, is it? Stare fortune in the face and walk away from it? Let's face it, Jimmy. You're nothing but a self-centered, greedy, money-grabbing man. And you need me. I complete you. Yeah. I'd be lying if I didn't admit I'm tempted. I mean, what kind of life can I expect now? I'm an ex-con. I'll always have that hanging over my head. But that was my doing. I accept full responsibility for my past actions. All my actions here on out. You say you're the best part of me, but you're no longer any part of me. Just a scared little figment of my imagination. Scared? Because I don't need you anymore. Hey! Here, take the money. All you gotta do is take this, and you and I can be one again. You like that? Being on the floor, with someone's foot on your back? Because that's all you can expect from here on out. You and I, we make a good team. But you're gonna throw it all away for what? Principles? Promises? You think anyone out there cares for your principles or promises? Newsflash. At least with me in your life, you stand a fighting chance. You think I care what anyone out there thinks about me? All I care is what I think about me. I hated who I was. So I decided to finally change and be someone I actually liked. But we're stronger together. Me and you. No. I'm much stronger without you. 
You say I'm nothing more than a self-centered, greedy, money-grabbing man? Maybe once upon a time I was. But I'm not that guy anymore. I'm not you anymore. And I don't need you! You see, I feel sorry for you. You only exist to cause me to do wrong. Now that I've taken back my life, you don't have a hold on me anymore. Jimmy, please. I need you. Don't leave me like this. Don't let me die. So, I found the money in the motel's basement. Yeah. I'm sorry I didn't say anything, but this was this something I had to do. I had to... Fight off some personal demons? <laughs> yeah. Something like that. Yeah. So that's the money? <laughs> yeah, that's all of it. One million dollars. Stolen from a bank over 15 years ago. Wow. You know, I read back in the paper back then that uh, they never did recover it. And it was in our basement the whole time. Hmm. Oh, listen. I called the FBI and told them about the money. Don't worry, it's going to take a while before they get here. And I know you don't need any odd questions right now. Thanks, Jesse. You did the right thing, Jimmy. I know. I just... I can't help but wonder. You know what? Out of sight, out of mind. Well, I, I got a long way to go, so I'm gonna hit the road. You do have a long way to go. But you know... You had an amazing victory last night. The first of many if you stay on course, Jimmy. You're going to be tempted from time to time to come back to this lifestyle. But after last night... Look, what I'm trying to say is... There's always going to be a war within you. As long as you live. War within? Yeah. The Cherokees have a saying that within each person, there's a good wolf and a bad wolf. The bad wolf is full of lies, deception, greed, anger. And the good wolf is love, peace, joy, and even faith. So, which one will win in the end? The one you feed, Jimmy. The one you feed. Daddy? Tina? Is that you, Tina? Yeah, Daddy, it's me. I'm so, so sorry. How did you know I was here? Uh, that would have been me. I hope you don't mind. I called Tina and told her what you did last night. And I wanted to meet the man who would give up a million dollars for me. Thank you, Jesse. No problem. I know I've let you down so many times. But I promise you, if you give me a chance, I won't let you down again. Do you have a place to stay? No, I was going to check into a halfway house but when I got to the city to be close to you. I know it's going to take some time, but I'm going to prove to you I'm a changed man. Come on. We've got a long drive ahead of us. Thanks for calling me yesterday. You're welcome. Yesterday?
called Tina yesterday? Yeah, he called me yesterday around lunchtime. I, I was still getting released from prison at noon yesterday. I, I didn't check in here and meet you till what, after seven. Oh, I know. But like I like to tell most of our guests, all things are possible at the Dream Motel. Y'all be careful. You expecting a phone call? Oh, yeah, I was. Uh, do you have a room? We always have room. Even when this place is completely packed, there's always room at this end. What? Um, it's just a little joke. Just yourself? Uh, yeah, just me. Just little me. Hey, I just need to get a little bit of information from you. Oh. And so we grace. That is a, it's a beautiful name. Hmm. Uh, you know that Zoe means uh, life in Greek. Yeah, Zoe Grace. My parents were very religious. But you would have guessed that, right? Yes, yes. <clears throat> room 147. It's the best room in the motel, if I do say so myself. Sure it is. Which way? Uh, if you'll just take a right at the end of the counter and go to the end of the hall, you'll find it on your left, just down there. Well, isn't that something? Imagine that. When life and grace come to this place. Prepare yourself. For then, a storm will come. When? For what lies ahead. Give me strength to endure it. Hello, Jesse. I told you I'd be back. Sheriff Walden? Oh, uh, how do I still look so handsome? Dark. Yes. I used to be known as Dark. Boy, you are good. But, uh, how? It's easy, really. I just got tired of my old human form. So I just took on a new form. And uh, old Sheriff Walden here, well, he just happened to be the closest human. I, I can't stop him, Mateo. He owns this town. He owns me. I have a choice here. You're... Go on, Jesse. You can say it. You're one of the fallen. Correct. You, uh, you know, we've actually met before. You used to know me as Azale. Oh, but that was a long, long time ago now, wasn't it? Oh, well, enough reminiscing. You're probably wondering what brings me here today. Go ahead, take a look. See that right there? That's a bill of sale for the land that this motel currently sits on. Go ahead, read it. It's all legally binding. 
See, this time I did things by the book. And I'm going to tear down everything that you've worked so hard to build up. I told you I'd be back. And in two days, the Dream Motel will cease to be. And this time, there is absolutely nothing you can do to stop me. <laughs>